Did you find your sound machine? <laughs> yes indeed the the, the applause <laughs> <laughs> what's up johnny hey what's up man what's up everybody it's music therapy last and johnny Dean. uh-oh starting again what happened starting again <laughs> how do i turn that thing off Push the wrong button. <laughs> What's up? I still like these crazy things. You know, they're cool because they sound so vintage. Like this yeah, guitar I that I have. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right What's on. Up, everybody? Dude, I I was this close to stopping by your place yesterday to check it out, man. Man, you I'm know, way if back, you would have, but then if, I'm like, if, I gotta get, I had to get higher, you know. But if you would have, I would have been uh, like on the couch like this. That's I what I talking. thought. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, and you were I was, probably it, like that too. <laughs> no, I came back here. I was on, oh, yeah, I was on Twitch were, last night for a while. Yeah, you were, you were on, huh? You were hot. You were on. Where's mm -hmm. that thing? <laughs> anyway, what's up, everybody? Music therapy last year with. Johnny Bean, that guy, right there. We got Yo. Santa, Santa Rockin' Santa over here. With the there he is. Yeah, he's got his own, his own Frankenstein. And I see that you're, you're irradiating, Johnny. I, I see something irradiating oh, off of you. It's warm in here, man. <laughs> yeah, it's the magic, the, the magic, magic <laughs> the magic of television. Ooh. Look at look at how you do that. It's like if you had it lined up just right, that would be so great. Like you'd like, "Whoa, hey. Here's my almost big room." Almost, but, but you know. I like the I like the purple, Johnny. I like the purple. Thanks. I like the, I like the light effects. I really should do that too, huh? There's a lot of things that you do. And many other YouTubers do that I don't do. Just rip me off like everybody else does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and stab me in oh. the back and twist it a little bit. <laughs> You're not you know. the only one who does those kind of light <laughs> stuff, Johnny. I mean, come on. That's the reason why I do it like this, because I don't want to look like all the other YouTuber guys. I mean, I'm hanging guitars on the wall and all this stuff like everyone else, but, you know, whatever. I, know. I don't, I don't I know. know. I don't no, know. it's I'm all just, cool. It's all good. Everyone's got to do their own, own thing, find their own path in life. And the Gear and Demo Show, here we are. This is my path in uh, gear, gear, I guess, vintage gear land mm -hmm. right my first step into vintage gear because this is my first real vintage gear purchase ever you know that at norman's rare guitars <laughs> wrong button <laughs> well that could happen because i haven't plugged this guitar in so we don't know it could be like one of these kind of these kind of guitars You've had that guitar for how many days, and you haven't yet? No, haven't I haven't. It? I've been. I I haven't even taken it out of the case. Well, case out of the bag. It came in this bag. Mm hmm. Sam Ash Pro Gig Bag, I guess. Whatever it says, the world. How it? Is that a good bag? Is it padded? It's 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 padded better than a lot of bags that you get, you know, free with a guitar. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open this up. And you want to say hi to the people of the chat while I sure, do this or? or should we Hello, do like a, a chat reveal? People, the big reveals coming up. Hey, Dan of New Jersey, G Butchnoff, Janice Lala, Megatod seven hundred seven, Mike Olson, MPN fifty one fifty. I can pronounce your name now, man. Yeah. And by the way, I see you on Twitter all the time, man. Great to see you. Uh, Laz is here. Octopus ears. Robbie Stingle. Tim Thomas. Tim Thomas, and, who's getting and, uh, headphones instead of his other choice uh, of items, because I think his name is Rakesh, is in India, and I can't send a box to India. Dude, There's a no friend, way. my friend's band just left on a plane today for India. Yeah, but do you know how big India is, Johnny? It's bigger than the United States. It's like it's not like I'm going to the Bay Area. <laughs> You're going to India. There's like 
billions of people that live there. Is it, it who, who's your who's the guy? What's his name? Is he in the chat? Rick Rick, Rick Tesh or Rick Cash. Actually, he I, might, I can look he might see be. If he is. I mean, it depends on if he's awake right now. I don't know what time it is in India. He was on uh, the Jumbio. show when it was nighttime here, so you would think that he would be on now. But um, in either case, right. he's getting those uh, cool, you know, headphones that I actually got a pair of those. I sent once to Canada land, Kanakistan, but um, <laughs> I, I lovingly joke because as Steve from Boston would say, we, we kid because we, we love, <laughs> I think he got that from some movie, but uh, Dwight Bailey's also now, Hobo Rody's also now, G Butchnoff, who we met, we met G who it's not for, it's not for Gino. <laughs> I'm not going to say what his real name is, but we met G Butchnoff at uh, what was it called Rockefellers in uh, Corona, California, where the custom you know high end Fender guitars are made now, right? Corona, California. Is Did you say else Corona now? on here? Corona. It's Corona. It's a. I've been city. there. I <laughs> took a, a tour beer. of of Fender and EVH. I I got the entire treatment. In oh. Corona. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Here he got the Corona. What was that? Eight years ago? Nine <laughs> years? Eight years? Seven? Eight corona? years ago? <laughs> Chip Ellis gave me the tour. Oh, he gave me the, the whole tour of Fender nice. and EVH, and it was awesome. Right on. So you guys excited because this is this is my first time ever plugging in this this guitar, <laughs> which is uh, we believe it's an '84 or an '85 from the headstock because the headstock has an interesting shape. And my friend Octopus Ears and I, you guys also know him, know him as Brent or as Magic Man back in the past. And um, he's a he's a pretty pretty tasty blues player. He does some open nights. He'll probably be doing some open nights again this coming weekend because last weekend he was hanging with me in Orianti in Norman's very guitar, you know, because who else are you going to be hanging out with that Norman's but Orianti? That was awesome. If you guys in the chat have not seen that, check it out. I, I, I couldn't believe, like, we walk in and there's this little table and it's got her picture on there. Oh, Orianti. And then I look over to the left and then she's just hooking up her guitar and stuff and they just started to hit the camera with, I think it's Jen who does all their stuff. She's been working there for over 10 maybe 15. I think she's been shooting video at least for seven or eight years with Norman's uh, rare guitars with Norm and the crew. You know, that's where they did uh, that one great video with, uh, are you friends with, um, what's his name? Um, oh, God. Oh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, of course. What's his name? You know, the guy who knows Eddie Van Halen, like the guy who's got several of Eddie Van Halen's guitars and, and uh, is a uh, son of a famous rocker. Dweezil Zappa, not the father. His father's Frank, but Dweezil Zappa did his uh, like display of his, you know, really cool EVH guitars, including the Rasta. The Rasta. It was the there Rasta at Norman's. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I don't know who else he was hanging out with there, but that's also where that guy who's with Gibson now, um, you know, he he came from there. I mean, he got his his uh, start doing all those videos with Norman's uh, rare guitars, and as mm -hmm. Dane was pointing out. Uh, you know, he said, hey, you got to go back to doing all those like interview style, you know, videos with all those vintage cool guitar collections that these players and producers mm -hmm. and people have. I, I watched one of them today with the Gibson Gibson TV or whatever they're calling it. So, yeah, tune in, by the way, to Johnny's uh, Friday exclusives over there. Van Halen Kramer Guitars Live. That was cool. And uh, it will be. What? Cool. That's no, that's tomorrow. Cool. That's going to be tomorrow. It You're like, that was cool. Oh, it is. Well, uh, how many times have you been talking about the Kramer guitars, man? All you do is talk about those Kramer guitars. Man. Anyway. I but, love them. Dude, you got to check I love them. this thing out. You guys want to see it? Here's Take it out, man. Here's the headstock. Look at that headstock. It's kind of got that beak. It's got that beak-like kind of. Should I should I all solo me here? Okay, I'm gonna solo kind me here. Kind of. That, I haven't even of... said hi to everyone in the chat, but hey, Hit, Hit Metalworks says it was awesome. She still killed it. Yeah, dude. I mean, she's she was ripping it up in there. She was just in the groove with that bass player. This guy, uh, what was his name? Um, uh, I want to say Toby, but it's not. <laughs> Octopus series. You can help me out, man. I'm. I just literally. Literally, I jumped out of the van, the Franken van, 
full tools. I did door installs today. It was nuts. All week long, I've been working like a slave so I can do like purchases like this thing. And um, <laughs> yeah, man, it's been a rough. It's been a rough week. I have to admit. But mm. um, yeah, Jeff K, one of the winners of the Twelve Days of Christmas. Uh, yeah, dude, send me your info if you haven't. I know some people haven't, but whoever, I think you did. It's either Jeff T or Jeff K or Jeff somebody. Jeff something. <laughs> There's like a bunch of Jeff somethings. And I, I don't know if this is the same Jeff because this one has a dash Jeff K. Is that a hyphen Jeff K or is it Jeff K? I don't or know. Or Jeff T. Anyway. I don't know. But Laz, <laughs> anyway. I mean, what, what, what I do when, when I do a giveaway, when I do a giveaway, I give them, I say, hey, send me a, send me a text. Yeah, but then I'd have to give them a phone number, which I don't have set up yet. Well, or or email or something. That, and you that. say it once, twice, and if they don't do it, yeah, I gave they don't everyone do it. till the end of this week. If you don't do it by Saturday morning, okay, that's the cutoff. Saturday Pacific time, I'll say 10 a.m. If it's not here with an email by then. Because I'm going to be finishing up all the packaging Saturday morning and then going to the post office and sending everything out. Because literally, mm -hmm. this week has just been, I've been slammed. Like, bam, 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 every single day. I've been getting home around this time, 7, 7.30, every night, getting up at 6, hitting the road at 7. 12-hour-plus days, man, on the road and working, you know. It's no joke. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's how we can afford these things. So let me go ahead and, uh, without further ado... Check out that thing. Thank you for the applause, Johnny. Vintage Fernandez. Made in Japan, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty certain. I haven't checked the serial number. Nothing like that's been checked yet, but I'm pretty certain it is uh, an 84 and 85. It is an L series, so that does tell you it's made in Japan does tell you that it was probably mid 80s and uh, definitely was made to a vintage spec you can tell by that fill in that truss rod hole right there right? that's obviously so that means... trying to be a fender obviously well you know back in the day johnny the japanese were making better fenders than fender you know that i know that everyone knows that everything that that's made in japan is awesome yeah my favorite that's guitars awesome. are made in japan guitars and check out those funky pickups man you, you can recognize that one in the center right you know what those are actually i just i just remember those yeah the the the, uh, the neck and the the uh the bridge those look like uh ibanez pickups interesting hmm some of the old Ibanez Roadsters came with those pickups. Right, Mike Olson? Mike Olson, what, I, that's what are you what, saying? That's yeah. what I want to say. And I'll boost my microphone. Now we got so more microphone the, uh, going on. Oh, great. Now you're really boosting over my, over my vocals, Johnny. <laughs> I can just uh, whisper and be louder than you. <laughs> I can just turn you down. I can go like this. Oh! <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Oh no! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So much, everybody. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's get let's get you back in here, Johnny. Please. You know. I love I love Johnny Bean. You guys love Johnny Bean. I love Johnny Bean. Johnny Bean really pushed me to do this stupid YouTube channel, and it's so fun. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and look at all this craziness I've gotten into. Look at look at all these amps. Look at all these pedals. I mean, it's not just his fault. There are other people like. Like Henning and and others. Look at all those pedals down there. Oh my you know gosh! I mean? Look at that. Yeah, That's crazy, Franken, man. Franken, Franken uh, Santa or whatever you want to call him, Santa with a Franken strap. Yeah. But, Franken um, claws. Franken claws. That's a good one. I like. Thank that. you, Mike Olson. Mike Olson. Should I put the uh, whammy whammy bar that should be in the case here into it as well? Should. I? Right. But this thing was hanging on the wall there. Oh no, it's not here. <gasps> Thank you, G. Did I leave it there? Oh no! You know what I did? I probably threw it in the uh, the Friedman case. The Friedman case is outside. But I bet you uh, a standard 
Like I could pull one off of a strat or something from up there. Like that one, should I pull it off that? Oh no, that has Vega trim in it. So I can't pull it off that. All my strats have Vega trims in them. Oh no, how do I do this? I Sounds good to me. So, anyway, I have lots of extra of those uh, those whammy bars now that mm -hmm. I took the the originals out. But I have all their cases put away. So what's that sound? Oh, headstock rubbing on a box. Anyway, but check that neck out, man. Look at that thing. This thing, mid '80s. This thing is great condition, and don't you love that color? That's very bright. It's it's actually in in the stream here. It's pretty accurate to the color. It's how would you compare a, it to my coat? Is it brighter? Is this like your a matte coat is finish? More, yeah, your coat is more kind of. This has got it's. It's like a really cool looking red nail polish color. You know what I mean? Like Whoa. an 80s hot babe oh, nail color way. polish right there. Yeah. But I love how the knobs are just like all so oldy looking, all vintaged out. You know? I wonder if they, they dip that in like coffee just to make it look old as possible. Because they all look so much the same, but. It almost looks like there's mm -hmm. blood in them and stuff. I mean, it's got, it's definitely got some mojo, you know. This switch here feels a little loosey goosey. Doesn't feel like click 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 click. It's kind of loose, but maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. And I like that it's got a single ply, single ply pick guard that's just aged. It's just aged like it would. But it doesn't look like it's gotten a lot of lot of play because it doesn't look like there's a lot of scratches on there, but there's plenty of dust on it. And then the fretboard, of course, it's got some. I'm, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess that that pick guard is not original. I'm going to say gonna, you're probably right. I'm going to assume mm -hmm. that that guitar is kind of pieced together just a little bit. You think so? Yeah, it's very yeah, possible. I think so. Very possible. Because those guitars, a lot of times, um, they were like people's like first guitars back in the day. Yeah, right. Like, but yeah. they're not budget, but they were like starter guitars, sort of. But I mean, they're st they're people would use them for starter guitars, but they're still they're good enough to be like a main guitar for somebody that's you know like a a uh, professional player. So a lot of times, you know, the stuff would get kind of trashed and then kind of rebuilt later on yeah so. parts caster like R2 that's why possible. those knobs are the mm -hmm. color and the pick guards yeah, are the color right. and the, the pickups obviously there's something going on there i'm gonna well i mean if we can find a that's right r2 a parts caster if we can find a photo and i know you and jj and octopus were looking saturday yeah. night after yeah. the show because you guys didn't realize i was after we ended the sh my show we were still on stream for like an hour or we were still like backstage, but you guys forgot that I was there because you guys were on his computer and you had other windows. Yeah. Open. Cause you were quiet for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, but I could hear you guys. So I'm still sitting here. And finally I said something. You guys like, Oh, Johnny, you're still oh, here. Johnny's still here. You're like, Johnny, you're still, you're like, Johnny, he was you're still here. Spying on us. <laughs> Wait, Johnny was spying you're like on Johnny, us. you're still watching. <laughs> 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 no um but uh, if we can like find this. a photo of that guitar you know like like another one it'd be cool but i i can tell you yeah it's 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 parts to, parts together you know like i said that that neck pickup and that bridge pickup they look like pickups that you would see in an ibanez uh roadster from 84 85 <laughs> this thing's battery dies so, so fast listen to this That sounds like, <laughs> like this. <laughs> it almost sounds like that, right? <laughs> there's, a, there's a different sounding one here. <laughs> oh, Dude, check this out. Anyway, should I plug this in or not? Let, let me show you this really quick. Well, All you right. saw this, actually. Somebody tagged me in this, and I sent it to you. And you're like, oh, yeah, those have been around forever. That Remember that pedal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody tagged me in this pedal. I don't know if it's a contest or something. Somebody tagged me in this, this, and I, I tagged you in it, and you're like, "Oh, that's been around forever." Mm -hmm. Look at look at yeah, this. Yeah, this is, yeah, the fart pedal. <laughs> what the heck is this thing? 
Yeah. <laughs> it's been around for a while. I think that thing came out look, right look after at, the... Uh... Show me the way your desk setup looks right well, Look at this. This is so crazy, man. Oh, my gosh. That came out. <laughs> is that what that thing does, man? Yeah, yeah. I think that came out... I think that came out when the uh, the P melter pedal came out. You guys know, hey, what's up, metalhead hippie? <laughs> I think he's playing the P string because B is for butt. Okay, that's enough. So the pedal is like a bluish green. That's oh. why you you can see through it on my uh, my thing here. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> dude! How come you don't have that? You got to get that pedal, man. Nah, nah I, I've got. I, <laughs> <it w> <laughs> this this works fine. <laughs> yeah, but what's crazy? Yeah, is, like I don't need that pedal much, to sound like that. <laughs> did you see how much those things are going for right now? How much are those things costing right now? I don't know. Because it's just like that other weird pedal from uh, from who makes that Miku pedal? You guys, you know about the Miku pedal? Mm -mm. The Miku pedal is one of the first like makes no sense to have this as a pedal, but people are buying it, and prices on the Miku have gone up like nuts too. Let's let's what is that let's called? Talk about gear and stuff. We don't just demo. Let's take it up. The Miku. The, the Miku fart pedal. pedal. Let me let me yeah, look, look that at this up, man. Actually. The fart pedal guitar. Check this out. This is how. Oh, it goes for about three hundred bucks. Yeah, the Miku pedal <laughs> is now going for six hundred and fifty bucks on Reverb. The oh, cord, they have two hundred dollar one. Miku Stomp. Yeah, that one's probably not as cool. It was like they were trying to cash in on this. No, it's the same thing. This you this can't one. get it new though, right? This one, and you can't. You can, the parts that are green, you can see through for some reason. Mm -hmm. but we'll make them purple. There you go. But for yeah. some reason, green does that, John. <laughs> uh, I want one of these. Yeah. Let's see, Miku. <laughs> Miku. Miku. Yeah, there's only one available used for sale, and it's going for six forty nine. I wonder if there's like a video of this being played now. That would be cool. Let's see. Yeah, the Miku stomp. Yeah, here's Ola testing shit. Which he does. <laughs> He's playing it. He's using a pedal right now and he's playing. That sounds like somebody doing a, uh, a talk box. Yeah, it's like the weirdest pedal. It's it makes these sounds of this. I guess this Japanese like person, the Miku character or whatever. But uh, yeah, yeah, crazy. So anyway, check this out, you guys. I'm 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 wearing a strap that my friend Johnny Bean gave me. Check it out. Oh yeah, somebody uh, gave me that. Customized by Johnny Bean. Customized. No, by Bean. that that's how that was. That's how that came. Oh really? But then With there's there's like cards? a devil or something on the oh, black you, part, you, right and I covered that up. Should we take? Should we? No. The devil? Oh. I don't want to see it. Why? I was gonna throw that. I was gonna throw it away, but I gave it to you instead. <laughs> Why? Are you afraid of the devil, Johnny? You know the devil's. Not nah, real. it's just it's just stupid. It's not real. It's not real. It's just it's lame. Like Santa Claus. Santa Claus is not real. The devil's not real. Well. These, these are, things made up in people's minds when they're afraid of the dark and they they mm. create imaginary like things that they can anyway that's my opinion <laughs> show the guitar Laz. anyway Woo! It. play it anyway, here we go tune it yeah, in let's, let's tune it in let's tune it in <laughs> tune it in i don't have a i don't have a uh what do they call it i don't have a um well, I do have a tuner on the pedal board here.
Well, you should talk while I'm doing this, Johnny. What's up, everybody? Talk. Plug it up and tune it in. That's right, G. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? You guys, channel members on my on my uh, channel, I, I dropped a channel member video for you guys today. I'm going to try to do them daily. I'm going to try to do daily vlogs for you guys that are channel members on my channel. So you get content every single day or even bonus content on show days. Such as tomorrow, we got an exclusively Van Halen show tomorrow, talking Kramer guitars. Tomorrow night, there's the link right over there, so click on that. Yeah, I know. Octopus. Yeah, that guitar should probably be cleaned. That fretboard was kind of nasty. Yeah, I'm going to change the strings, but you don't have a string change show anymore, Johnny. Mm hmm Anyways. Well, actually, coming up. Yes. Here we go. There we go. I should grab a pick. Grab my... Oh, look what I'm using for a pick, a pick holder right now. Ew. Oh. I can't do this without dropping stuff out of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's you know not a pick holder. <laughs> it's one of these. What is it? They call you it have the a tally? ashtray. Yeah. You have a telly or a base that goes on? It does go on a telly, yeah. Go oh, check out cool. this cool pick that somebody gifted me. I'm trying to remember who gifted this to me. Somebody did. Anyway. Wow. Can't remember. Can't remember things anymore. I'll oh, check these out. Oh, dude. Look at those. Got a bag of them. It's not a huge bag of them, but it's still a bag of them. Anyway, so, yeah, this is it, man. This, this, this is the first time plugged in. I've been playing this thing. Well, I played it. I played it at at JJ's, and I played it at the store, but not for very long. I mean, I just, I just bought it because it was so cool. You ever buy a guitar mm -hmm. just because it's cool, Johnny? I'm about to. Yes. Really? Ooh, let's check this out with some some cool effects. He's like, I didn't even try this guitar. Gets home a week later, tries it out, and he's like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> keep talking. <laughs> it looks cool. Anyway, I keep wanting to, I keep leaning that. I used to always put my camera on the top of my laptop, and now it's not. And I keep leaning. You know what? This strap is not working for me, John. It's coming off. I can't use a strap sitting down. I don't know how people do that. They must you like put it on tight. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Little slappy. See, I wanted to get that whammy bar. I just I went right for it. It's not. I'm like, where is it? It's like mm -hmm. phantom limb syndrome, you know. You're, hey, there he is, Ritesh. What's up? Ritesh. Hey, can't stop by uh, the RHCP. Who's that? Red Hot Chili Red Peppers. Red Hot Chili Peppers. I'm not that good of a guitarist, dude. I don't know if you know Ritesh. I'm really a keyboard player, pretending to be a keyboard player, pretending to be a guitar player, pretending to be a music studio producer. <laughs> um, because pretend is fun and music is therapy. Yeah, man, but so what do you guys think? That's position one or five, Johnny. Which which camp do you, you belong to? That's one. I was just telling our friend Ro Robbie here about the two I and the four penis. positions. <laughs> I love the two and the four positions, Johnny. 
But you know what my favorite position uh, on is. On the guitar. <laughs> they don't have it on a guitar, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway. The two and but the Ritesh four. But Ritesh might know, because if Ritesh is from India, he's probably read that big, thick book. You know the one. Ritesh, dude, are you going to that, that music festival that's happening in India? My friend's band, Flipside. Have you ever heard of a band called Flipside? They're actually headed to India to play a huge festival, and they just left today. Ritesh, have you ever heard of them? Actually, I'll give you guys their video. I don't like these picks. I don't like these Swiss picks. Sorry. Can't, can't play them. <laughs> just can't. I much prefer the 5150. Be honest. Well, there there may there's a major difference between the two as far as the the uh, the thickness. Something's out of tune. No, it's not that. Oh, you know what's happening? I forgot that. Look at how high this. Ooh, let me. You know what? Let me unplug this. No, I think I can. A little, a little over. Look at how high this pickup is to the the neck, the top one. It's actually higher than the neck. And when I play down up here, when I play up here, it it touches the pickup. So mm -hmm. we should fix that right now. Let's see that. Let me get a screwdriver. All right. Let's see if I can find a screwdriver. I'm going to look at a bunch of tools here. Okay, I got one of these. No, that's not it. Remember when that light went out over here, Johnny? Yeah. Yeah, it's still out, and I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I can kind of, but... Oh, there we go. Okay, this is the perfect tool, you guys. If you guys don't have one of these... Oh, I almost fell off the chair. If you guys don't have one of these, <clears throat> you should get one. Oh. Music Nomad tool. You know what's cool about this? Pull it out. Pop it in. You got a flat head. You got a not flat head. You got a whatever, number two. Right? Also, look at that. How about that? I needed one of those today. No, I, we we're changing the, the battery in my car. I needed one of those to yeah. do the thing. For the That's more exactly modern style what I tuner, needed. you just this fits right on there, and then you have all these other ones. They all fit different guitars, right? Even there's one. It's a Music Nomad tool, great tool to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if this will work here. Now, do you turn clockwise or counterclockwise for it to go down, Johnny? You're a tech. You used to, you used to do this stuff. You want to uh, tighten? No, it's the opposite. Counterclockwise is tightening. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You do want to tighten. But now I want to go below below the level of the. Uh... Oh wow! Oh, okay. Now there's something interesting. Let's let's see what happens here. Ah, so so I think we recognize problem number one with this thing is it's already going as low as you can, and then okay, let's see. No, that should be all right. Right. No longer bottoming out on there. Now it's much better. Okay, I'm good. I'm happy. Go a little higher on that center pickup. You like the middle pickup position, John? Hey, Ned. What position is that, the middle pickup position? That's a three. <laughs> I like the middle with the bridge and the middle with the neck. The two and the four. Those are the most awesome sounds on a Strat. But also, when you're adjusting um, those pickups, you want to yeah. be playing because the adjustment 
really ha- it has to do with playability, but also the sound as well. Right. So you're you right. want to make sure you want to make sure to play in between yeah. each adjustments if it's majorly there's, adjusted. Right. Now there's a reason why I'm not doing that because I noticed that as soon as I adjusted this when I was going for a lower position on the neck, the screw came loose. Okay. So the screw, the adjustment screw here is not long enough. I'm going to have to replace the screw so that it can it can actually tighten closer. I'm going to have to check the, the inside. The screw have... became loose, but no, loosen. No, you, raising the pickup up would loosen. That's the opposite. Well, what I'm saying is that when I was going tighten, like righty tighty, it was raising the pickup. When I was going lefty loosey, it was lowering the pickup. So, you know, that's why I have another show on Sunday mornings, you know, Johnny, called the uh, Guitar Mod Squad Show, where I take mm-hmm. things like this apart and check it out and see what's in there and see what I need to do to fix it so that it works properly. But at least I have it not uh, like it's, the strings aren't dying out on that pickup anymore. <laughs> the tone. That's a nice tone. That's the third position Johnny which is the same no matter what camp of the five position thing you <laughs> yes yes okay so now we don't have those dead strings again where I was going like this I was trying to go Headphones think it's in my head like that. Ritesh, check out the link I put in the in the comments. It says Flipside. That's the band. The song is called Someday. Everybody in the chat, play that video. Let me know if you guys have heard that song. That was a huge song back in 2005, and that's my friend's band. And they're headed to India right now. Badgers, Robbie Stingle Death. That's right. We have to save the Badgers, Robbie. Save the Badgers. You know, the bad part about doing a demo of uh, something like this with headphones on with the amp live in the room is I can't really hear it because the headphones are on here. Let me... And I got this hat. It's covering my ears, too. Got to go like this. At least this way I can get one ear. <laughs> good to me man you guys want to hear it with a little drive my suggestion yes <laughs> suggest the Let, way let's hear it on clean with no effects and let's just hear each position all right let's do that let's hear the same chord strummed <laughs> All right. All right, so this is the 5150 in the green channel, and we've got, looks like the mids on at, looks like about 2 o'clock, the lows at 1 o'clock, the highs at, uh, I'd say, 10 o'clock, volume is at 3, well, 9 o'clock, presence is up at uh, 3 o'clock, resonance is at 2 o'clock, reverb down at 0 no noise gate on and the i guess gain is up at about one o'clock if you know your 5150 iconic head that's where we're at position number one all the knobs turned all the way up to 11. That song go Johnny, you know the words. <laughs> play the play the next chord. You don't have to put on the red light. You just put it on the guitar. Anyway, sort of. that, that kind of is what inspired me to get this guitar. 
because this reminded me of, even though it's nothing like his, obviously. It's well, a similar color, and his kind of his has it. his has a has a has a uh, rosewood yeah. board. Yeah. So Andy's Andy's um, I know a few things about Andy Summers. I his so, his, his red Strat. Um, he had the the Fiesta red or whatever. Had a a, a a had a rosewood board. That was that was a uh, when did he use that one? Back in the day, he played a Tele, he had a Strat, and then Fender actually recreated the Strat for him for the police tour in 2007. Wow. See, I've so never the, seen them live, and they're one of my favorite bands. So the main guitar he was using in 2007 was a recreation. Wow. Yeah. Actually. He's one of Relict. the coolest dudes in rock and roll, I think. Have you seen his documentary about his experience with the police? And goes pretty deep into everything. I was invited I they sent me free tickets to it. I saw yeah. it. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Dude. <laughs> I was not, I was actually Andy. talking to him on the internet. So you that. met Andy Summers? Have you met him live, like in person? Me? Yeah. You've met many, Andy ma- many yeah. times. Oh, dude, I'm so jealous. I'm Search my channel. Jealous. Search my I, channel. Johnny, you have it. too many shows. There's too many videos to watch. But I'll have to. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna just you know Andy Summers, Johnny Bean TV, and see what pops up or Johnny Bean. Yeah, because I've got to watch this because the, the dude is cool, man. The dude is a super cool dude. All right, so let's get back to the demo. So we are, as you know, the 5150 is a perfect pedal platform amp because it's got really nice 6L6 sound, you know, a little Fender-esque, right? It's not like what you would typically expect out of a EVH amp, right? Listen to that. Okay, so that's position one. You want to hear position two, Johnny? Or is it yes. position four? Who's this? Position two. Five? Okay, position two. There you go. Now you're talking. Now you're talking right there. Play, play message in a bottle riff. I don't know. I don't know any of <laughs> I wasn't a guitar player. I didn't have, you know. Do I know? I know that C chord thing. How does it go, John? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I never learned chords, dude. I never, I never learned like I know bar chords. I, I don't know what they are though. Like if I play this, I can't tell you what that is. I'd have to like think about it. I'd be like E F G A. Oh, okay. A. I know that's a G. No. That was a G. That was a G. G, that's right. I have to go up. E, F, F sharp, G, right? I'd have to think about it. That's the problem. I learned the wrong way from the beginning. Though. But I don't know if it's the wrong way. I just I make up chords. Like, I've written songs where I just find what sounds good. You know? Play play when you're made up chords right now. All right. Like, there's this one. Oh, there's this one. That sounds already. And that, that makes me think of, uh, this is one A that I was sharp. writing this song. Okay, so here's this song that I was writing. <clears throat> Perfect for the middle position. That's where that chord is, but I need to cut my nails. wrote that song not knowing what i'm doing i just figured out what sounded good tim timothy lay i think i think silent lucidity similar goes i think (laughs) 
Something like that, right? I, I don't know, but I know that it's similar, you know. So I was trying to come up with a chord, and this sounded good. In this part, I usually go into something like this. Oh my god. I'm pushing down too hard. You know, that's what typical amateur guitar player, right? It also reminds me of Christy Hines, right? There's that song. I don't know how it goes. Yeah. So, second position, right? Third position. Fourth position. tell norm to intonate that guitar right yeah i agree i think there's a little bit of an intonation problem and in an intonation problem if you look at where the bridge saddles are they don't look like they would be in the right position look a little bit but yeah they just threw that guitar as Laz they would say they, they threw guitar. up that guitar okay. on they the rack up. i don't think they did anything to that Which is cool because you got it for a deal. What would you get that for? Four hundred? Yeah. Not bad. For a made in Japan guitar. Thank you, Dakota, for the like on uh, Twitter at Johnny no, Bean next, Twitter. Next position. <clears throat> It no. even feels like the neck's a little loose <laughs> on the body. You hear that little crackle? I tighten those, that crack. Look in the middle of the... Uh... <laughs> that crack was the, was the, was the, the, was the joint cracking. <laughs> Just crack the body. Well. <laughs> well, you know, what I was saying before about the kind of like the vintage spec of this thing is that that has no hole in it because the only way to adjust the truss rod on this thing is to pull the neck off. So I'm sure the neck's been taken off this thing several times, but there's no crack in the body anywhere. I don't see a single little, like when I looked at it at the shop too, there's nothing. And I do is tend it in to tune? do that when I shouldn't, you know, probably went out of tune now. Play a chord, and hey, Ritesh, uh, Flipside, they're they're uh, they're a mixture of rock and rap, actually. It's got that sound. I like it. <laughs> uh, is that a squire? No, it's uh, Leo. It's uh, Fernandez, uh, Japanese. Japonese Fernandez Kitara. 
It's a it's a Fernandez well, version of a it's a Fernandez version of a Squire um, from the eighties, like a Squire. Uh, Here, yeah, let me show that, that's a, that's exactly that's exactly actually who said that? Leo, that's exactly what that is. That's 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 Fernandez's version of a, of a Squire. Eighty four, eighty three from nineteen eighty four. Or yeah, or ish. 85, 84, 85 ish. That's when they were experimenting with this style headstock. And it's got the vintage style. Mm -hmm. Those are the same tuners I've got on my guitar where I use the uh, yeah, trim. Isn't that a Squire too? No, not that one, no. And you're thinking Ibanez <clears throat> neck bridge pickup those right. those are quite possible ibanez neck and bridge pickups yes Early and that ibanez. middle one that middle pickup looks like a fender uh lace well, sensor. It's a lace sensor yeah yeah yep it says fender lace sensor it's one of the silver ones which I, i'm not sure i the, had the, the gold silver ones in mine, the vintage ones in mind that I yeah had. yeah um, so so what I, what I dude what i would do is i, I would get a, a nice set of pickups and and Toss a, a, a really nice right. set of pickups into that. Let me show you what are going to possibly go in here, Johnny. Now that you asked that, check this out. It even comes in a similarly matching red box. Are those lace? Oh, there you, dude. There you go. These are vintage too. The box isn't actually the original box for these. Let me. I like this. I got these from uh, my buddy Jack the Rabbit. And look at that. Dude. There's some mid 90s, uh, you know, silver place sensor. The Falcro. Pickups. Hey, Falcro. Thank hey, Falcro. Thank cool, you for playing you? my. Falcro, thank you for playing my song yesterday, man. Oh, I think these are the gold ones. Yeah, they're the gold ones, like the ones I had in my Plus Deluxe, <clears throat> Deluxe Plus, whatever. So these are vintage, Dude. man. These. Right Sunday morning, install those pickups into that guitar. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have time, Johnny. There you I go. I don't know if I have time for that because I, I don't know how to solder yet. So that's something I got to practice up on. But at the very least, what we'll do is we'll we'll go, you know, pulling off this pick guard and mess around in there. <laughs> Thank right. you, Falco. Yeah, Johnny Bean. Great song. He played one of my songs yesterday. Last oh, night. very cool. Well, one way we can find out, I guess, is when we take off this. Uh, look how how oldy schooly that looks, right? It's all dirty down there in the holes. <laughs> anyway, that means somebody was playing that guitar naked. That's possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the neck feels good and even though it's got a glossy finish you know i've gotten so used to the 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 you know satin finish neck and the oil finish necks now that i'm playing all these yeah. frankenstrats and stuff there know? there's really a difference between finished necks from the 80s and finished necks now some some yeah. stuff now like yeah. i would say Flex. i would say that guitar now or something similar to that now the neck would be way too glossy way too finished and it'd be very hard to to navigate your hand would be getting yeah, stuck here, stuck I'm on not, i'm not feeling stuck but that's it's not stuck, like, you know, because that neck has been played for years and years and years and it so the finish is worn off that's that's one of the reasons yeah maybe i mean it looks it looks this thing looks like it's been sitting in the closet for way too long but it does have somewhere you're right look right right here look at that you got some road wear some natural see that Hmm? See the discoloration, those finger discolorations there, right on there. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's worn off, like right, because fingers were like always here. That's that's like on my guitar, man. It was always like somebody guitar. was here a lot, and they wore it off right there. It's cool, yeah. It's it's a grimy looking but cool grimy looking neck. You know what I mean? I like the grime on it. The Here's grime. look at mine. Mine's. The one that I have my Vega Brian. trim on, oh, yeah, yeah. This particular one, I've Look worn. That thing is. Oh, I've my worn. God. I've worn. I've totally worn this neck in over the years. Yeah. This is all from from me playing the the guitar. That's awesome. So, see, look, the whole entire side is all worn down. 
But yeah, I mean the front. I mean it's totally worn in. Worn strat. There it is. Paul Davids also has an orange strap. Well, this is an orange. It is red. But it's that Fiesta red. It's not, it's, you know. I really like the color. And looking at the grain on the back, it looks like it probably is older. You know, you can kind of tell the grain through the finish. It's definitely not like swamp ash or something like that. You know. And there's a little bit of wear where the gloss the gloss has worn off the back. You see that? Right there. Mm -hmm. Where's that chord you're playing? Where is it? I used to know that, <laughs> I was man. just making it up. I, I have no idea if that's the proper spot for that. I'm just like, that just sounded good to me. Hey, let's jam. Keep playing. Oh, keep playing. Keep playing. Let's start over. Ready? Latency jam. I'm sure I'm playing it wrong. It's, it's uh, satin or something. Here, try this one. Oh, sorry. Or this one. There you go. Almost out of Okay, that's, that's tricky, right? Okay, I see, I see, I see. CC, hit it, CC. <laughs> we should form a police cover band, man. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm figuring this is a weird chord, man. Oh, I don't know. I have to come to that chord. It's Here, just do this. Do this. Oh, that's the bass part. Octopus, sing it. F. C sharp. D sharp. F. Or this one, man. Yeah, I should learn that one. And yet, that he's like tighter for this, but play that like the whole way through for one whole song, and your hands are like.
There you go, man. so far dude i'm hungry don't do that <laughs> well we're 10 minutes over the uh typical hour. barbecue steak with mashed potatoes I have, and I have ribs what is this fridge, and i'm tempted to make them but it'll take an hour call it fried cauliflower you guys want to hear another one of my original songs here we go And don't say we never play guitar on these shows. that and send that to Hippie and uh, Valkyra. That's the one that I wrote when I moved back to California. It's the first song I wrote when I moved back to California. I was missing my daughter, Hannah. She was just a little baby then. And it's about her and missing her. It's called Missing You. Missing you, but I can't see you. Well, you know, Puff Daddy actually turned that vent, that uh, police song into a song called Missing You. Every breath you take. It was called Missing You. Do you guys remember that? Thanks, bro. Thank you very much. I'll finish that song one day. It's all in here. <laughs> and here. And you put those Do it now, because next thing you know, you'll be 90 oh, years old. <laughs> Just do it, man. Do it. I know. Play some Gilmore. I wish I knew some Gilmore. Jesus. We're some just going to call you JRM. JRM. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Anyway, Jesus, you know you, you could have won something last week, but then you disappeared out of the chat. And um, that's what happens when you don't when you don't claim your prize. Someone else claimed it. 
Yeah, yeah. I wish I was getting private lessons <laughs> lessons from Orianthi Leo. <laughs> sound of guitar man I'm, I'm i'm smitten you know what's crazy i'm more smitten by this than by the 5150 slime green one and it's an emotional thing because this is a red guitar it's a red strat like guitar it's vintage it's got mojo it's got vibe it's got a feel it's got a thing you know and we'll we'll experiment with the changing out pickups yeah that'll be cool But that neck position sounds good. here in B. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> Time's up. Did you hear eat. that? <laughs> I need to go eat. Did you hear well, that? Well, thank you, all 31 people that are here. That's awesome, dude. Oh my gosh! That's what they came for Johnny. Johnny doing his. <laughs> I'm just having dinner, listening to Laz play. That's what's coming next after that dinner. Sounds like Sublime. Oh, that's cool, man. Thanks, Mike Olson. Yeah, it's like a funky, like it's it's like a funny tune, and uh, kind of the effects I want to do on this tune are going to be pretty wild. They're going to be like really weird sounding kind of. You know that uh, Tell Ray kind of um, organ tone effects box from back in the day? It's like way old. It's like an oil drum, kind of a weird kind of spacey UFO sounding 50s era movie sound kind of thing. They had one of those at um, at uh, Real Guitars and I played it. I, I actually found one of the real ones. Thanks, Janice. Yeah, it's got a nice, it's got a nice sound. It just looks cool. I just like that it's like you know, it's a single ply pick guard. The color is just really, really amazing, and it feels good. It's a nice weight, really nice feeling weight, you know. And I think it has mojo. I do. Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Mickey, I'll see you later, man. On Twitch.
Yeah, man, I'm digging it. <laughs> and it's got that cool kind of. Hey, little man. <laughs> I'm like, you'll you have to check it out. Dude. Yeah, but I might have to put some toothpicks into the holes here. Because I feel it coming loose whenever I'm doing that <clears throat> stuff, which I've been told don't do that. Yeah, tequila, right? <laughs> I have a feeling there'll be some tequila later. <laughs> oh. What do you think of that, dude? I'm probably totally butchering it, right? Dick Dale, Miserlou vibe. Yeah, it's you know it's a stratty kind of a thing. Oh look at Ned, he's he's glowing too. He's got radiation. I'll put him to sleep. No, don't do that. <laughs> This is actually a cranberry song. There's probably a million other songs too. <laughs> sound for that. We want to Dwight Bailey. Dwight. Matching towels or something like that. This is how you learn guitar. You, guys. you like sing it and then you play it. Something. Oh, I kept hitting the, the volume knob. That's what's bad about fenders. That volume knob gets knocked around. That's not a fender. <laughs> Han Solo. Thank you. 
Thank you, Michaels. And yeah, I play everything by ear, dude. I never learned anything. Never studied. <laughs> I've gotten better. Leo, that's because I never practice, and I get warmed up after about half an hour to an hour of playing. <laughs> and then I go a whole week and not play. You know, that that's kind of what's my, my life lately. If I actually played every day, I'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks you guys for coming. This was awesome. New guitar day. And this is one of those guitar purchases my wife probably won't get angry about. <laughs> she never gets angry, but she's like, oh, another guitar? Well, she, she'll That's never find cool. out about that one. Yes, yeah, she will. I'm hanging it right in the middle. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but the one that's coming from Ukraine, that one's going to be kept very carefully in this case all the time except when I'm playing it. Because that thing is costing me a load of, you know, hold on. How do we do that? Load of money. <laughs> because I'm helping out the Ukrainians at the same time, getting a really cool custom-made guitar. Is there no better way to help people than to buy their products? Right? Anyway, you guys will see that in a few weeks when it, I don't, I don't even know when it's coming. Henning is helping, helping me out with that for <laughs> You it's bought it. Now, after you left, they were like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am actually buying it through a friend. So my friend Henning is setting up that arrangement. And um, I've been sending. Oh, yes, it will. You've seen his version of it chugging in his uh, in his uh, show. So if you watch any of Henning's stuff, whenever he's like really seriously playing a guitar and he really loves it, it's that really, really nice flamed bluish greenish turquoisey looking swimming in a tahiti like you know ocean kind of look with the clear pick guard it's a strat style one he's got a, a les paul style one and a strat style one it is the soothsayer but the uh, henning poly signature custom special model made by valiant <laughs> I just want to keep playing. How did that song go? It was like it was one of uh, the Chris Isaac tunes from back in the day. How's it go? That song, come on, you can name it. I can't play it. I can't sing. Oh, oh, oh. Blue oh. Hotel. I can't sing at all, man. I'm bad at singing. Blue I can do it in head voice. Blue hotel. That's a good song. You know that song, don't you, John? <laughs> okay, here's my favorite. <laughs> all right, all right. I told you, all I right, know the guy that recorded that. <laughs> I know him. There are people still here watching this. I can't believe this. All right, you guys, go to sleep. Why are you Eat still here? Food. I don't know. I'm, I'm having too much fun, man. 
Uh, I'm talking to them. Well, the Quentin Tarantino movie, did they do a Blue Hotel movie? Oh, I didn't know about that. I know that he did that. Uh, what was the movie that? Uh, no, it wasn't. Was it Quentin? No, I thought it was that other guy. Um, shit. Spielberg. No. I can't remember anyway. John Biel. What was it? Dan Gorman. What was it? The Falcro says it was Spike Lee. How's it going? Oh yeah, that's it's a different key in a different key. I need to learn guitar, right, you guys? But anyway, I think it's a cool guitar. I need logos of my self. That's it, you guys. <laughs> I gotta go eat. Tony, in the meantime, you had dinner. <laughs> I put Johnny to sleep. Oh. <laughs> oh Are we still on? Video, okay, I'll play along with your video after I eat. And then if it's not too late. Ah, oh, it's going to be 10 o'clock here by the time I eat. Then I got to go to bed because so I got to get up early again in the morning and do another door so I can buy more guitars. Yeah, man. It's all good. It's all fun. You need, to, you need to buy me that guitar, man. Which one? Which one, John? The one that I sent you. Oh, yeah. I have $1,400 to burn. <laughs> Look on the floor. I wish I, wish I did. <laughs> you got you got thousands of dollars sitting there on the floor. You know what? Maybe I'll buy that guitar and you can just come over here and play it. <laughs> yes. That's exactly. Robbie, tell him. I, I can't, dude. I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm buying. I'm I'm. I'm literally going to be sending like $2,500 for the final payment on this Valiant guitar. So, What do you mean final payment? I already sent the 1000 It's It's my first over $3,000 guitar ever. Well, you better first learn ever, a chord. Ever, I know. First <laughs> you better ever, learn how to play. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, right? I'm just collecting at this point. <laughs> at least learn a C chord, Laz, at least. How does the C chord go, Johnny? I don't even know where it is. Okay, here's an E. So it's got to be like, wait, okay, here's the E, and that's D, and that's a C right here. A happy C chord. It's a little out of intonation, though. From the look of it, this guy played a C a lot because that C right here, look how worn that is at the C. Right there, right here. Look how worn it is right there. They just played that one note all the time. The all the time. I'll write a song in C. Well, hey, don't laugh at me. All I can play on piano is stuff in C. So... 
I can play C. See me playing C. What happened to my guitar? Johnny taught me the C chord. My life has never been the same. This must be a G because it's a fifth away. This must be a fifth away. Oh, that's a it's a, it's a third, it's a third, I don't know what it is, it's a first, it's a third, this is a fifth. That's the one that's the five and the seven, or six. That's, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a, yeah, that's a, hey, right? That's right. Listen to Hippie. Record him a song by the new year. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's a C. Yeah. You know, I was I was watching uh, who's that Japanese teacher that teaches at Berkeley School of Music? <clears throat> I want to say something like Kiko Kakade Kiko, something I forget. But he's super cool, and he was teaching about learning your uh, your triads and learning your do re mi so fa la. So like like he would say do se. Uh, whatever he was like doing that you know the one three five and he was doing like the all those different variations like learn it like that learn those things you know those triads and then that'll teach you the fretboard so i should do that all right thank you michaelson goodbye 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 now thank you thank you thank you very much thank you for coming thank you thank you buy my music on itunes Buy Johnny's music. It's good. Actually, Johnny's got cool music, man. Go check it out. On iTunes. You should get it on vinyl, then. You know, I'll buy it. I have a song on vinyl. Well, well then, where is it? You should be giving those away. Instead of Van Halen. Anyway. Yeah, G. Bushnop. I, I, I'm a huge fan of the mom. We gotta talk. We'll, we'll talk on the phone. I got your number now. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> anyway. It was fun hanging with you guys tonight after a hard, arduous day of work and playing some guitar. It's great. John's got to teach me some of these, like, these uh, 
Dude, I'll, I'll trade piano lessons for guitar lessons. How about that? Right on. Buy that, buy that guitar. <laughs> Dude, I can't afford to buy you guitars. <laughs> but, but I can afford to buy myself guitars. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Right, I, I have to play a crap guitar, Dude, and you have freaking thousands me, of guitars. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even have those Vega trams. <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> oh, but here I, we go. Those Vega trams. You got them now. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> so anyway, no, it's all good. If I ever hit the lotto, dude, I'm definitely buying you some guitars. <laughs> This is my retirement plan right here. Hopefully no one robs me, because then I'm screwed. Dan Gorman, your prize is not on the road yet. It's going to go out on Saturday. I've been working, literally, getting up, eat, work, sleep. That's what it's been since I got home from L.A. I got home at like almost 1.30 in the morning, Sunday or Monday morning, and I went to work. I got up the next day at 6 and went to work and every day so far i've been getting home at like 7 38 o'clock and i eat and i just crash and that's that's what my life has been since then i don't even all you do is eat and crap is that what you just said crash crash like crash you know. that's why this guitar literally sat in that bag since sunday it's been in the bag and i have not even pulled it out or played it or plugged it in or nothing i haven't had like energy to do anything so you will get it though. Everyone who has a, even Leo, Leo, dude, you're getting the awesome super prize pack. That's when you're gonna get it. The officer and the gerbil, dude. I have your bag of stuff like right over here somewhere. Your your EDH strap and everything, and you're gonna get some extra goodies. Here, so don't worry. Yeah, everyone's gonna be super happy, and hopefully, you know, it all gets there by Christmas, right? Cause, except for the people that are in another country, like Ritesh. In India, he's getting a. I'm trying to figure out a way to buy an Amazon card for him so that he can use it in India because they have Amazon.in for India instead of .com. And like, I go there and I and I can't purchase it because you have to have a bank account in India. I'm like, I'm I can't do that. So I gotta figure it out. I'll figure out a way. Dude, Mike, you're gonna have an awesome box. Everyone's gonna have an awesome box. It might be a package. It might be like an Amazon bubble wrap package that's what it might be yeah should i put them in boxes i was gonna do them in those packages but i guess i could get boxes yeah. all right that's it you guys <laughs> thanks for coming thank you johnny bean for making it fun as always Watch my show tomorrow, please. Yeah, Ross, watch Johnny's, what is it called tomorrow? What's the tomorrow show? Talking Kramer Guitars. It's called Talking Kramer Guitars with Robbie Single and Amanda Peters. And Johnny Bean. Well, you're the, you're the host. Everyone knows you. Thanks, Leo. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Rock on. Laters, everybody. <laughs>